In this video, I'll be explaining this negative clipper circuit. And I have a five volt peak at the input, which means that it's a 10 volt peak to peak signal. That's in series with a 2K ohm resistor which is in series with the parallel combination of a diode, a three volt DC source, and a 100K ohm resistor. And I've got a VL1, and I've got a VL2. I'm gonna start my explanation of the circuit by explaining exactly what's going on right here, right here at VL2. So I applied the five volt peak. On the output, it's gonna be a signal that looks like this. Now the question is, why are these peaks so small? And why do I have these gaps here? That's because this is when the dial is going into reverse bias. As it goes into reverse bias, it only captures a small piece at the top of the input signal. Because it goes into reverse bias at exactly 2.37 volts. So at 2.37 volts, it begins to go into reverse bias. It rises to a peak voltage of five volts. Then it comes back down back to 2.37 volts. Now, this area right here is, as it goes negative, it goes all the way down to the negative peak. Then it comes back up again. Now, at a plus 2.37 volts, it begins once again to go into reverse bias. It rises to the peak of five volts, then it goes back down to 2.37 volts, and then as it goes negative again in this area, it goes fully negative and comes back up again to 2.37 volts then goes into reverse bias again. Now the question is, where did I get these voltages from? Okay. And where did I get the diode voltage from? So what I did was, I took the diode and I put it in series with a 2K ohm resistor and I applied both of them across a three volt DC source. The diode voltage is 0 0.612 volts and the resistor voltage is exactly 2.37 volts. That 2.37 volts is the voltage that the diode begins to go into, into reverse bias at. You can find that same voltage if you subtract the three volt DC source and the 0 0.612 volts that is across the diode. And when you subtract these two voltages, they will give you the voltage at which the diode will go into reverse bias. Now the voltage below this zero volt line is the diode voltage. And when you subtract these two voltages, you will also get this voltage right here, which is the three volt DC source. Now, 
Now let's talk about VL2. Excuse me, VL1. What is the voltage right here at VL1? The way how you find that voltage is to first find a peak to peak voltage here. Now to find a peak to peak voltage here, you subtract this 2.37 volts from the from the 5 volt peak. So you got your 5 volt peak. Then you subtract the 2.37 volts. So you have 5 volts minus 2.37 volts. And that will give you a V peak to peak of 2.63 volts. Now, now what do you do with the 2.63 volts? Okay, that's the peak to peak from right here to right here. You take that you take a 2.63 volts and take the you take the 2.63 volts and you subtract it from the 10 volt peak to peak signal And that gives you that gives you a V1 out voltage of 7.37 7 volts, and that's peak to peak. So you can see here that that the voltage at which the diode goes into reverse bias is determined by this voltage and the diode voltage. So when you subtract when you subtract the bias voltage here or three volt DC and the zero point six one two volts across the diode, and you subtract this voltage from this voltage, then you have the voltage at which the diode will go into reverse bias at the output. If you want to predetermine exactly where the voltage is, you apply the three volt DC source across the series combination of the diode and the 2K ohm resistor, and that will also give you the voltage at which the diode will be going into reverse bias. And this brings me to the end of the video. Like and share the video. Like and share the video. And thanks for your attention.